So what is an electrovalent or ionic bond? The bond formed between a metal and a non-metal by the transfer of electrons from a metal to a non-metal is called an electrovalent or ionic bond. Now just to know this, you should know the background of metals and non-metals that metals always lose electrons and non-metals always gain electrons. That means metals can always just give electrons but they can never take electrons and non-metals on the other hand always gain electrons they can never lose electrons to understand or review the concept you can go through the video links shared in the description box related to points to remember about metals and non-metals well let us try and understand ionic bond formation with the help of example of magnesium oxide magnesium oxide is formed by the combination of magnesium and oxygen magnesium is a metal and oxygen is a non-metal and first you need to know that why does any element form a bond any element forms a bond with any other element just in order to become stable that means any element if it is losing electrons it is doing so to become stable if it is gaining electrons it is doing so to become stable and thus in turn they form bond with each other now magnesium element has an atomic number 12 its electronic configuration is 282 since its atomic number is 12 that means it has 12 protons and 12 electrons in its atom and in turn configuration is 2 8 and 2 it has two electrons in the outermost shell since it has two electrons in the outermost shell it is not a stable atom for stability any atom must have either eight electrons in its outermost shell or there should be only one shell that is a k shell and it should be having two electrons in it that means following the duplet rule now since magnesium is not following either of the two rules of stability that that is neither the duplet rule nor the octet rule therefore it is not a stable atom and thus in order to attain stability so in order to attain stability it will now lose these two electrons so magnesium is going to lose two electron and in turn form mg2 plus ion we will understand this shortly using orbital structures now on the other hand oxygen atom it has an atomic number 8 its electronic configuration is 2 comma 6 since it has 8 electrons in it so configuration is 2 comma 6 now this atom also has 6 electrons in the outermost shell and is unstable since it is, does not have 8 electrons here in its L shell. Therefore, it is unstable. It is not following either of the two rules, nor the octet rule, nor does it have only one shell with two electrons. Therefore, it is unstable. And in order to attain stability, it can gain two electrons and form a two negative ion. That means O2 negative ion, which is also known as oxide ion. Now, magnesium. Now, what do they do in turn magnesium wants to lose two electrons and oxygen wants to gain two electrons so magnesium gives its two electrons to oxygen oxygen takes two electrons from magnesium and in turn they both form a bond so magnesium loses two electrons to oxygen oxygen gains two electrons from magnesium so let's understand this so in doing so both the atoms they become stable if magnesium is losing it becomes stable if oxygen is gaining it becomes stable and they stay together in the form of a single compound which we call as magnesium oxide now the compound formed between ions is thus known as an ionic or electrovalent compound this is why we call it as an ionic or electrovalent compound since ions are involved in this bond formation so the chemical bond formed between the two ions due to the loss or gain of electrons is called the ionic or sorry it's ionic or electrovalent bond not the covalent bond ionic or electrovalent bond just to make this correction and this can be illustrated with the help of orbital structures here so let us try to understand this magnesium atom has an atomic number 12 its electronic configuration is 2 8 2 so as we can see it has two electrons in its first shell eight electrons in the second shell and two electrons in the third shell on the other hand, oxygen atom has atomic number 8. Its electronic configuration is 2, 6. It has 2 electrons in the first shell and 6 electrons in the second shell. We can clearly see that oxygen atom is not stable. 
Magnesium atom is also unstable. If it loses these two electrons, it will be left with only two shells and will become stable. So therefore, magnesium gives away its two electrons to oxygen atom. So when it gives its two electrons, what happens to it? Magnesium now has two shells. Now since it lost its two electrons, it has given away its two electrons. As you can see here, it will now have 12 protons. After losing these two electrons, it will have 12 protons. As we can see here, it will have 12 protons in the nucleus. But now how many electrons does it have? Total of 10. 2 in the first shell, 8 in the second shell. 2 plus 8, 10. Protons are more than electrons. If we just subtract out 12 protons minus 10 electrons, protons have a positive charge, electrons have a negative charge. If we subtract the two, answer will come out to be plus 2. And this is how magnesium ion gets a plus 2 charge. On the other hand, oxygen had gained two electrons. I've shown this with different colors. The electrons have been shown with different colors so that you are able to identify clearly the difference in the ion formation and the atoms before that. So now it has gained two electrons and if we count, so just missed out the electrons in the first shell here children. So there should be two electrons in the first shell and there are now eight electrons in the second shell. So if we total them, it comes out to be two plus eight, that is 10. Protons are still eight only. Minus 10 for the electrons, plus eight for the protons. Minus 10 plus eight, the answer comes out to be minus two. That is how oxygen when it forms an oxide ion, gets a two negative charge. Now, if we look at them very clearly, both of them in their ionic state have become stable. This is a stable atom, has eight electrons in the outermost shell. This is a stable ion, sorry, this is a stable ion, has two elect eight electrons in the outermost shell. This is also a stable ion having eight electrons in the outermost shell. And this gets a plus two charge, this gets a minus two charge. Now, since they have bonded together now, they will stay together, they will have a bond between each other which is known as the ionic bond. And this compound, now they will always stay together forming the compound magnesium oxide. They will not be as separate ions. Ions are never as, they do not remain as single or you can say separate ions do not exist. Ions always are bonded to some other ion and in turn stay together forming the compound magnesium oxide. So magnesium ion and oxide ion combine together to form an ionic bond and the compound thus formed is known as an ionic or electrovalent compound. Let us try to understand this using electron dot structures also. So when we draw dot structures, we only show the outermost shell. That means the valence electrons are only shown. Magnesium has two valence electrons, so we just put two dots here. Oxygen has six valence electrons, so six electrons have been shown with the help of green dots. Magnesium is not stable. Oxygen is not stable. Magnesium loses its two electrons. When it will lose two electrons, so the structure will be the same like this. But in ionic, uh, in dot structure, we do not show the other shells. So when it loses two electrons, it will get a two plus charge. When oxygen will gain two electrons, it will get a two negative charge. So the dot structure is shown like this. Mg plus two, O minus two. So Mg two plus and O two negative, they together bond and they form the compound magnesium oxide. So this is how electrovalent or ionic bonds are formed between a metal and a non-metal. Metal will always lose, non-metal will always gain electrons from the metal. And this is how we form electrovalent bonds. To review any of the concepts related to, you know, ion formation or to covalent bonding or metals and non-metals, please refer to the video links shared in the description box. Thank you.